Okay, so here is our first muslin. Um, you can see that I just, I didn't do the whole pant. I just did through the crotch and a couple inches down. It's actually really cute as shorts and I might end up making um, a version of this for the summer. Um, but some things that I wanted to point out about how this is fitting me. Um, obviously, the adjustments that you've made to your pattern and applied to your muslin could be very different than what I've done here. Um, but I'm going to point out just some of the fitting issues that I see on myself, and then that might help you analyze your own fitting issues. So starting at the top, um, I feel like the entire center, like I feel like I'm leaning over to prevent this from giving me like full on camel toe. Um, because I feel like this is too short and it needs to be longer. So I need to uh, lower the crotch line on the pants pattern and that'll give me some more space through here. And then, and then once I have that, then I feel like the top will fit better. Um, right now I feel like the neckline is being pulled down but once I think I fix the crotch length issue, then um, this will be better. Um, I did put in a cup, a lining cup that I had from like a sports bra, just so I could see what it would look like um, filled out. You can see on this side, there's like a lot of wrinkling and like weird fullness, but whenever you put in the cup that gives it the shape it needs, um, it does end up looking a lot nicer. Um, along the side here is going to be a very important seam line. I ended up folding mine under so that I would know where the seam line was rather than the cutting line. Um, I do think it's a very beautiful design um, that's cut really nicely along the shoulder. It's got a lot of coverage up through here. It's just when we get right here that I'm like, is that too much side boob <laughs> and I think it probably is so I am going to grade you know a line out from somewhere a couple inches down from the neckline and have it cut wider um, and meet up with the side seam so I'm going to kind of fill this out a little bit it's got nothing to kind of pull it where it should be so I need to fill that in with fabric which I will do um, I might need to, you know, do some pleating and that'll have to all come in the second muslin. Um, but then as we turn to the back, you can see um, the strap length is pretty good. Um, there's no like weird gaping or, um, you know, this, the, link, the straps are the length they should be. Um, again, try and ignore the wedgie, <laughs> the wedgie that I have, because again, the crotch length is not long enough um so we're going to fix that um side seams look good it's hitting my waist at the right place the waistband is hitting at my natural waist which is good and i feel like the pleats once we have like a drapier fabric are going to lay nice they're not like pulling tight anywhere um and so that all looks really pretty good. The adjustments I made on, I'm trying not to have a wedgie, um, the adjustments I made, the full seat adjustment and all of that looks pretty good. The um, darts might be a little long, which is why we're getting some puckering there. So I might try and shorten those a little bit. But again, I want to lower the crotch line first uh, before I really do anything else with the pants um, to see how much that is gonna remedy any of the other issues. So, but in general, I feel like this is a very promising first muslin and I'm very impressed with the pattern and the fit and um, just, you know, out of the package, I feel like we are starting off at a very, very good place. So I rethought the redrafting of this and I thought that the issue might be resolved if I took in the side seam. I think I was a little too aggressive in my um, measuring. And so I feel like I could take out, I mean, 
what is that? That's almost three quarters of an inch, maybe a full inch. Um, and then that pulls all of this back into place. And I feel like that looks a lot better. So I will regrade the side seam of the bodice front and the side back and the waistband too, and have it grayed into the side seam of the hip a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. Um, I got the back to lay a lot closer to the skin when I pulled in the side seams too. So I feel like that's better. And even with the little amount of lowering, oh God, that wedgie, even with the little amount of lowering that I did, um, I do feel like it helped with the um, darts laying a little bit better. I also didn't sew them really well because I was just like, oh, it's a muslin. So I didn't really try and not have the points, but I feel like as we lower this and I get more breathing room <laughs> through this whole area, um, all of this will lay a little bit better. So I am going to kind of do a quickie second muslin. I'm actually not going to recut anything because everything is mostly too big except for this area here. I am going to pull apart the side seams and um, take those in just off of this garment. And then I might just undo the crotch so that I can see how it hangs without there being a crotch seam there. And we'll see where it goes. But yeah, it's really short. Either I'm really long-waisted or this is really, really short. Um, so if I would have known that, I might have measured. So maybe before you make yours, you will want to measure from your waistline um, down, around, <laughs> back up, and see how that compares to the pattern. Because yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to add like an inch probably. I need a lot of, I need a lot more room down there. So, but anyways, I feel a lot better about this now that I've taken in the side seam. So, um, a little bit less work, um, for me to redraft that. So I'm loving the bodice right now and it's just about the bottoms. Okay. So here is my final version of the muslin before I get to cutting the fashion fabric. You can see I took in the side seam, um, from you know, the top all the way down through the waistband and even a little bit through um, the side, um, like the high hip area. Um, we've already talked about my crotch lengthening issues that we have going on here. I did release it. Um, Lord, I hope that's not TMI for you guys. Um, so I can kind of feel what it's going to feel like as things kind of get looser down there. But basically, I just need more length in this seam here. I don't necessarily need more length all the way around, um, which would be crotch depth. I need crotch length. I need this seam to be longer to accommodate for my longer lower torso. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. Just remember that your fashion fabric most of the time is a little bit drapier or just, you know, has a different structure than muslin. So don't get too hung up on every single wrinkle and bump. Um, it is like gonna, you know, drape out a little bit with that crepe back satin that we have. But like I said, out of the package, this was almost a home run for me. So I am really grateful. Excellent job to the folks at Vogue on giving us a good baseline for this jumpsuit pattern. I'm excited. Okay, here is my jacket muslin over the jumpsuit. Very cute beige <laughs> look here. Um, but regarding the jacket sizing, I cut a straight 14 all the way through the waist. And then when I got to the waist, I graded each seam a quarter of an inch, giving me an additional half an inch through each seam line. And remember, we've got one princess seam, two side seams, another princess seam, a center back, and then repeat it around. So that is seven seams, right? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seams. So adding just a quarter of an inch to each of those um, raw edges, a half an inch per seam, gave me an additional three and a half inches. So it's very easy to grade out when you have princess seams. It's very minimal grading and very even and easy to do, which is why I love seam lines. As many seam lines as you can give me, I will take. Um, I did press this on the center front mark. So there is a line on your pattern piece that denotes the center front. So that's where I pressed it because I wanted to make sure that I gave myself enough room where these two lines would come together. And you can see that they do um, perfectly. So when I put my button in, these two will be overlapped like this. And when I put my button in, um, everything will hang like it's supposed to. Now, some other issues not regarding my specific size. I do feel like this is a very wide sleeve, especially as we get past the elbow. So we do have an elbow dart in here, which is great and giving a lot of shape and a lot of movement. But this is just way too much ease in the bottom of the sleeve. I feel like I could lose, you know, two inches there. So I'm going to start um, with maybe a half inch grading or for a total inch being removed but I still think I might come out half an inch more or maybe a total of two inches just to give me, well, two inches might not allow my hand to get through. So maybe we'll end up at half an inch, um, or sorry, one and a half inches off of each raw edge or a three inch total um, alteration there, just grading up through the elbow. Um, but I do like that um, elbow dart, and I feel like I have a good range of movement, and it's easy to move my arm like this. Um, also, when I raise my arm is something else we're looking for here to see if the arm side is big enough. And, you know, obviously this shouldn't just stay still, but, you know, you want to have a decent range of movement, which I do. I mean, if I raise my arm like this, obviously that's too much. But, you know, you want to be able to, you know, raise your arm like you should. So that's also good. Um, I notched one side of the collar out just to see how that looked. I'm feeling good about that. Um, the other thing that I am considering, now that I have them on together, I'm feeling like this might be a little long. Um, this is probably just a personal preference but this feels like sort of a dated length. Um, gosh, I don't know. I'm torn. I might want to lower it right to where my hip bone is. That would be like three or four inches or so. Um, and if I did that, you would get something along the lines of like this kind of look, which I just feel like is a little bit more modern and a little bit more flattering for my figure since I am pear shaped. Um, you know, I don't want the jacket to stop right at the widest part. You know what I mean? So I might raise it up a lot. Um, so we'll see. I'll chop off maybe two inches, start there and see what I think about that. I don't know. So the length is something else I am also reconsidering. But again, that's personal preference. So make your muslin and then determine for yourself what you think about the length. So yeah, there we have it. These are my muslins. And after I make these couple of alterations on the jacket, I'll show you what it looks like. And then it'll be fashion fabric time. Okay, so here are the quick and dirty alterations I made to the jacket. First of all, I narrowed the sleeve by three and a half inches and it's too narrow. You can see it's like not falling over my hand. Um, also, it might be a little long now too. So I'm going to counteract what I did and only do a, what did I do? One and a half. I did a three inch adjustment. So I'm going to only take it in by one inch on each 
seam for a two inch adjustment. And then I might shorten it. I didn't realize that before when it was so big, but yeah, I definitely can't open my hand. So I feel like if it were shortened, like the length of the hem, which is one and five eighths of an inch, it would be better. Let's just fold it under and see. Yeah, I think um, I saw somewhere where it was like, when you bend your thumb, the jacket should hit where your thumb and hand joint is. So that feels a lot better. And if I let that out by a, a total of an inch, I feel like that will be near perfect. Um, great, okay. So then I also shortened the whole jacket by two inches. I know a lot of you were saying on the video before this one that it wasn't even hemmed yet. And we do have a deep one and five eighths inch hem. So I took that in consideration. And before I just chopped off four inches, I just um, met myself in the middle and chopped off two inches. And then with the one and five eighths inch hem, here is where we are. This is a hemmed jacket with a two inch shortening. Um, I just shortened it from the bottom, which isn't the right way to do it. I will use the um, length and shorten line on the pattern pieces, but for this muslin, I didn't want to like redo the muslin just to shorten it. I just wanted to get an idea of where it would hit um, with it shortened. And I do feel like this is a lot more modern um, and a lot more, more importantly, a lot more flattering to my figure. Um, so yeah, it's hitting me right at the, I don't know, like the base of my hip bones, or I guess it's the top of my hip bones, the parts that's like nubby, um, it's hitting me right there. And I'm feeling a lot better about that. It's still definitely a blazer, definitely a blazer vibe, but just a little bit cuter in my opinion. So yeah, this is gonna do it for the muslin. Oh, these are so short now that I, but <laughs> I lowered that crotch length. Um, um, <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it for my muslining. I'm feeling very, very confident about the fit that I was able to get. Um, I said this before when we were talking about the jumpsuit, but right out of the gate, this pattern is pretty darn on point. Um, so if you know that you always have to do certain alterations, like for example, I always have to do a full seat adjustment. I usually always have to take in um, the bottom of the sleeve. If you know that you always have forward shoulders or narrow shoulders or full bust or whatever, you can just pretty much make those adjustments. And I feel like you're going to get to a pretty decent place right out of the gate, which is awesome to not have to like fiddle with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, just make your usual alterations, see where you land. And I have a feeling that it will be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to cut into the fashion fabric. That's what we will do, <clears throat> excuse me, next week. I will show you um, some just tips and tricks for sewing the jumpsuit. Um, it is pretty straightforward, but um, I'll give you my tips for some of the different construction techniques that are um, used to make the jumpsuit. And then the week following, I'll do the same thing for the jacket and then we'll have final looks and this whole thing will be over before we even know it. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.